First ban. Nothing special. Typical Davidoff ban. Second ban, like I said, it's got that golf thinging. I don't know why it's kind of off because when you roll it, this is this is usually what you see, but you don't see the entire golf. Like the spacing is kind of weird. Perfect. It actually tastes better, like better. How m better? <laughs> okay. No, that's okay. We'll move the fan to the side. Do not mess up my devil out time. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Every single day I'm gonna Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Reviews. Yes, so today we have Davidoff Golf Scorecard Edition. Golf Scorecard. Now, this cigar is hard to find, but not hard to find. There is a Golden Band Edition that is a little bit more rare, but this is the normal one, okay? So, I believe this cigar is about 25 bucks, 24 bucks. And and I think the cigar is not too hard to too hard to find. And yep. This is 6 by 55, really weird number. Gran Toro and the wrapper is uh Ecuadorian Habano. Binder is Piolo, Pio, Piloto. I don't know why it's called Martin Garcia Zone, so one of those things. And filler is Senvente, <coughs> Senvente Lajero, Piolo Visus Hybrid, Senvente Majorado Visus. Can understand those any of those I don't get it, but you can expect that these are from Ecuador and Dominican Republic. That's where they're from. Okay. I think that these that this cigar started out 2016. So it's been aged for a little bit, I guess. If I look at it. Just a little bit. I don't know. They still released them, I think. You can still find them. Yeah. There you go. Looks like that. Uh, this is golf on it. And this is actually... If you play golf and you have a driver, that's where, like, there's a part that you're supposed to hit the ball to get it to go. I mean, by the print of the ball, that's after you hit it, you can tell you whether or not you sliced it. So that's that's what it is. That's just the face. The face of the driver. All right? I'll probably put a picture of a driver. Not driver, but driver. <clears throat> it smells sweet. It smells peppery. It smells a little bit of cherry a little bit. Fruity, I guess. The draw, perfect. Very good. All right, lighter. I should have turned off the fan before I do this, huh? No, that's okay. We'll move the fan to the side. Do not mess up my devil that time. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. The the most beautiful David off way of it is. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Toast this thing. Now turn the fan back on. Jeez. Cedar. A little bit sourness to it. But you got cedar. We got a muted pepper. And a little bit of cherry at the end of that woodsy flavor. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a sour, but kind of saltiness to it. It's very enjoyable flavor though. It's actually very good flavor. Yeah. So far, so good. I like the, the how it starts off. I like the draw of the cigar. Um price of about what twenty five a stick. I think for this size right now, I wouldn't doubt that it's, it's gonna give me that kind of enjoyment. Um they usually come in five packs. I'm gonna find a picture of that five pack if I can put it on there for you guys. But yeah, they usually come in five packs. Um, yeah, this is one of the cigars that I'm gonna enjoy the heck of. So, let me come back after one third and I'll tell you how much I enjoy it. One third of the way through, and I'm impressed. This is a really good cigar. It's fruity, it's woodsy, and sweet and creamy. A little bit of vanilla and pepper. Um, it's a good cigar. One third way through, twenty five bucks. No, mm, I'll give twenty one right now. Twenty one right now, and see if that sustains. Twenty one. Let's see if we can do the, get to twenty five. All right. So let me get right back to it. Pass the band, uh, and then we'll look at the first band. Okay, second third. Um. The taste got more sharp. The sweetness got more sharp. The cherry flutiness kind of got, because it got sharper, a little bit saltier. It tastes like it's cherry plus some other fruit. Uh, berry, of course. And it actually tastes better. Like, better. How better? <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know how to describe it. It is better. So right now I'll give it 20. All right. 24, 25 at this point. So right now it's worth it already. 24, 25. It's good. It's good cigar. So let me finish the last third and we'll be right back. I think something's wrong with my camera. Maybe I'll adjust that too while I'm at it. Good flavor all the way to the knob. I'm impressed with this cigar. Cigar tastes great. No complaints. Build quality is great. The ash didn't want to stand. Like every time the ash gets about this much, it falls off. Which I don't mind because, you know, the flavor didn't change or anything like that. It's just that it caught me by surprise a few times when it fell off. So, but 25 bucks, I'll pay 25 bucks. This is a good cigar. 25 bucks it is. Recommended it. If you find it, get them. Um, I think if you want to get it right now, it's probably somewhere on a $26, $28 range. But even that, I think, will be, wouldn't be too much out of the norm. And I think that's something that, you know, or only you can decide. But I think it's good. If you try one and you like it, you know what I mean. So, good cigar. And that will be this cigar. But we are going to look at the band. First band. Nothing special. Typical Davidoff band. Second band, like I said, it's got that golf thingy. 
I don't know why it's kind of off because when you roll it, this is this is usually what you see, but you don't see the entire golf. Like the spacing is kind of weird, but you know it looks cool. You know, in fact, this kind of reminds me of Japanese flag, so I kind of like it. But other than that, very normal in terms of decoration. It comes in a box of five. So, can you smoke this while you're playing golf? I don't recommend it because if you really want to taste this, you want to sit down and taste it and enjoy it. So. That's what it is. Yeah. So that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like it. If you like it, like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't, just another day. So I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.